Hello, everyone. Welcome to a special edition of Behind the Mic because we did not end the season this past week. Lafayette with a Patriot League championship will take on New Hampshire. They will play that ball game on Saturday at New Hampshire. And no, we will not be there as ESPN has the rights. You can watch the game on ESPN3 and uh, hopefully enjoy it as much as we're going to miss being there. But, Mike, we have to reflect back. You know, a few weeks ago we talked about the three R's, and Ross Sherman, Mark Ross, Drew Reed really carried the offense, and, and I, I think that uh, they all played so well against Lehigh on Saturday. The, the funny thing is to get all three of those guys playing at that high a level in that big a game. You had Ross and Ross. They were the balance, and then you add in Drew Reed, and it was, uh, it was just something to watch. And certainly the defense scores a defensive touchdown. The special teams give us good field position all day long. It was without question uh, certainly a team win. We get our seventh Patriot League championship, and now we'll move on into the FCS playoffs, one of 24 teams. And uh, obviously uh, with the ball game coming up, uh, this is our fourth appearance in the FCS. We haven't won one yet, so that is something now to shoot for for this football team. And I think they're playing a team that is very good in North Ham New Hampshire, but Lehigh beat them. Uh, so uh, you certainly have to go into the game with the mindset that you're capable of winning this game. I think so, and I think uh, uh, you know Mark Ross said it when he said that uh, it's almost another goal to achieve to get that first win in the playoffs. But this is a good football team. New Hampshire is very good. You see some of the teams they played this year, and uh, you know they started out one and three, and then they came back and uh, you know uh, obviously put a lot of wins together. And but you know going back and forth, you know I think Lafayette will be able to score. Mm -hmm. I definitely think Lafayette will be able to score. Whether you want to get into a track meet or not is the question. I think time of possession is going to be huge because it doesn't take New Hampshire a long time to put the ball in the end zone. So uh, you would think uh, Lafayette needs to run the football a little bit. Uh, and, but also put those points on the board at every opportunity that they have. A little disappointment today when we got the uh, All-Patriot League uh, players. Uh, the rookie of the year was not uh, Drew Reed, which really kind of shocked everybody uh, here at the press conference today. Uh, it really shocked me. I came in with a little bit of a chip on my shoulder. I, I just can't understand that. I mean, Drew was outstanding. Uh, if you were in the Patriot League or anywhere near it, you had to stand up and take notice, whether you were in the Ivy or the Patriot or even in any of the CAA League, uh, those close-knit groups. You take notice of all good players, and especially when it comes at the quarterback position and it comes as a freshman. He was outstanding this year, and to get snubbed uh, at that point was, uh, I think, was a travesty. I really uh, can't understand how the voting went. Yeah, and there are a few others there that raised some eyebrows, which leads me to what I think might be the perfect attitude to take to Saturday's football game, and that's with a huge chip on the shoulders for these football players, uh, knowing that some people don't think they belong there because of their record. They belong there, and there's one way to prove it, and that's the knockoff North New Hampshire on Saturday afternoon. Mike and I will be just like you. We'll be watching on ESPN3 when the football game is being played. For right now, who knows? Maybe we'll be back again next week. But for right now, we want to say thank you so much for spending time with us all year long during the football season. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.